happy Valentine's Day. What's up, what's up? What actually happened is I've been gone for a minute because I actually sprained my ankle and I've been like icing and elevating for the last few days. But um, I got a really special Valentine's Day treat and I figured I'd share it with you guys. So I guess I'm doing like a mukbang or just, I don't even know what to call it. I'ma just eat pizza in front of y'all. <laughs> is that okay with y'all? And guess what? You know what's really cool about this pizza? It's heart shaped and I got the special Valentine, my bae in Finland, ordered this pizza for me so thank you Mika so much. I feel so privileged and so special. Long distance relationships, you gotta make it work, you know, you still you gotta, you know, woo your partner from 5,000 miles away or however far away he is. Okay, let's get this started because I don't want the pizza to get too, too cold. Okay. So here is the pizza right here, and I'm super excited to dig into this. This is my favorite kind, pepperoni and pineapple and heart shaped. Ah! Okay guys, hopefully you can hear me. Like I just spent forever trying to like get the camera in the right angle, so hopefully you can see the pizza. I'm trying not to ruin it. I feel like I'm gonna ruin it. So this is a Mountain Mike's pizza. I don't know if this is like California based or if it's other areas. I'll look it up later. But yeah, Mountain Mike's makes like the best pizza. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day with their significant other or their family or they're just treating themselves and feeling good because that's what it's all about. Because I'm alone on Valentine's Day today too, even though I'm in a relationship. So I can relate to y'all in a way, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and there was plenty of years where me personally, I was single for a very, very, very long time. So I spent a many of Valentine's days by myself as well. Anyway, this is supposed to be positive. <laughs> and let's get to this pizza. It's the Pepperoni Mountain Mike's heart-shaped pizza. And I thought it would be fitting for Valentine's Day. And since I'm kind of feeling up to it today, I figured why not do a video, especially since I haven't done one for so freaking long. Like I have plans to do videos and then my life gets in the way. So I guess the point of like mukbangs or whatever is that I'm just supposed to talk, right? But I have no idea what to talk about. This is kind of unplanned. I had no idea I was gonna actually feel well enough to do this video. So it looks like they cut it in one, two, three, four, five, six different slices on each side. They cut it in half. I don't even know if I should even bother lifting it. But they cut it in half and then they cut it in like little like rectangle squares. And it's like perfectly shaped because I've seen some of these like heart shaped pizzas online on Instagram years back and they don't look heart shaped at all. But Mount Mike's, if you see this, y'all nailed this. Y'all nailed this. So, um, Let's see. So I think they're actually doing the heart shaped pizzas all month. At least that's what I saw like online or on their little flyer. If you have a Mountain Mike's in your area, you can still get one. You don't have to worry about it being Valentine's Day. We still have another two weeks or so left, but I know it's a short month because it's February. Oh yeah, happy Black History Month as well. Yes, okay. I feel like I'm rambling and I almost don't want to eat it because it's so cute. I think this pizza comes up to $21.99 for one topping or is it $22? I'll put the, the price in the description later. <laughs> Here's how the first slice comes out looking. Rectangular slice shape, kind of like a regular pizza slice actually. Mm. And I got a kombucha as well. <coughs> For some reason, <coughs> this pizza is spicier than I remember. So how y'all doing? I'm making an effort to try to be more consistent even though it's like I'm still uploading probably like every two weeks extra, but is better than last year, right? I feel like I should give like, since it's Valentine's Day, what should I talk about? It didn't even fizzle. I tried. <laughs> mm. So what is your guys' ideal Valentine's Day? Day, you go. When I think about Valentine's Day, usually like in the past, like I always try to make it special even if I was single or not, like back in college. <laughs> I would go to events like speed dating or if my college had like an event, like I remember like they had like a little Valentine's Day like event where they had like pizza and hearts and everybody would come over and hang out. I thought that was really cool. Well, let me say, one of my favorite Valentine's Day like ideas is that um, dinner, I'm kind of simple, like dinner and then like maybe dinner on the beach, you know, yeah. You know, I've always wanted to go to Bali. I actually have a, a YouTube friend that's in Bali right now. Shout out to um, Reloaded Reloaded Reality. I'm not sure if she's uploading anymore, but you can check her out on Instagram if you want to see those Bali trip clips. Mm. I think when I was watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, no, 
Real Housewives of Orange County. That was the first time that I heard about Bali. I mean, they have the huts on the, like, the water. Yeah, I just, like, fell in love. Like, my ultimate Valentine's Day would be on some sort of tropical island or, like, islandy type place like Bali. Heart shape on the beach, flowers around, champagne, like, you know, maybe the sunset coming down a little bit. Mm hmm And then, you know, just me, my significant other, or if it was, like, a girl's trip, that would even be cool, too. You know, we all get all dressed up all sexy and just enjoy ourselves. And then... You know, you know, I like to party, so it would probably end with like dancing all night at a, like, a really cool nightclub. <laughs> the very last mukbang I did was with my friend La, De La Delicia de Linda. Shout out to Linda. Hopefully she's having a beautiful Valentine's Day. Actually, speaking of like themes, it is actually National Pizza Month. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm making the best of Pizza Month because I've had pizza at least twice this month. I actually went down to downtown Berkeley with one of my old high school friends and we went to this place called Passion Cafe. They had this whole VIP pizza experience and I was super, super excited to go. But what ended up happening is um, my friend ended up coming late and so I ended up missing the whole event. But shout out to Passion Cafe because they were so, so nice to me. They gave us, they made a pizza that is they made a pizza that was specifically for us, and then they also gave us free gelato. So I was just like amazed. And let me tell you, the pizza was so good. I, um, I'll link a picture of, of, from my Instagram later, or you guys can go check it out. It's the same name, Reese in the Cup, at Instagram. And um, that was like the first time I actually did like a kind of like influencer type event because like I've never been invited to anything like that and I got invited through Instagram so it was totally through social media. I was like, oh wow, is this what it's like to be an influencer? It was super, super fun. And plus the restaurant was really, really nice. It's in downtown Berkeley, if you're in the Berkeley area and I definitely recommend. Cause it's more like a gourmet pizza. Now if you want like just a casual pizza that's amazing, Mountain Mike's is my favorite pizza. It even beats out Pizza Hut, and Pizza Hut used to be my favorite, like, you know, like, $1 sign, $2 sign pizza. I'm not even, yeah, technically $1 sign, probably. Pizza Hut used to be my favorite, and it still is, really. Except there's not really one that's nearby, nearby me now. I don't want to eat this whole thing. I feel like it's going really fast. Like, I'm already, like, almost halfway through, you guys. <laughs> well... Comment down below and let me know if you guys like this mukbang kind of thing. Although that my diet is very restrictive and this is not in my diet at all. Maybe I can start doing things like this because it's a little bit easier. I just have to kind of plan out the topics a little better. It's been gorgeous here in the Bay Area the last couple of days. It's literally February 14th, which you guys know, Valentine's Day. And it's 70 degrees, like the last four days or so. 70 degrees in January. You know, I'm a summer baby if you guys don't know. My birthday is in July and I love sunshine. So this has been the best. <laughs> I think I saw this meme on Facebook. They were like, Bay Area weather. You have winter, fake spring, more winter, and then another fake spring, and then actual spring, and then summer, and so on. <laughs> and that's so true. Like the Bay Area weather is so unpredictable, although it's like the best weather because it's never too hot or too cold, but it fluctuates so much. Like, if you go to SoCal and it's hot, you don't have to bring a jacket with you, but a classic Bay Area thing is, if you if it's hot and you're wearing shorts, you best to bring a sweater, a hoodie, some jacket, a pair of pants for later, because trust me, it might be 70 or 80 in the daytime, but as soon as it hits about four or five o'clock, it starts getting cold. <laughs> and that's how you can totally tell if people are from the Bay Area or not, because people who are not, they're just like tank tops and shades, and then they're like, wait a minute, why is it so cold all of a sudden? Oh, um, so what else happened today? People are all talking about Stranger Things. The Stranger Things 4 trailer just dropped. Guess what? Spoiler alert for those people who watch um, Stranger Things. The trailer lets you know that Harper is still alive. Mind blown, okay? I thought he was dead dead, okay? The last scene on last season, you know, they had the 11 over there writing that sad letter to him and then they were reading in, they were packing up. I was like, this is not even fair, dude. This is not even fair. So I'm a big Stranger Things fan. I can't wait till that drops. I don't even know when it's going to drop. Oh, I just finished watching Sabrina. Do you guys watch Sabrina? Oh my gosh. So I was super excited when it was going to come out, right? 
But I thought it was gonna be like the OG Sabrina, you know, with the, the mom, not the moms, the aunties and they're super like friendly and goofy and Salem's like talking and Sabrina's like bubbly and going through her little high school drama. But this Sabrina, obviously this is like season three already. If you guys watch it, you know, this one is like dark as freak. Okay, I would swear, but you know, I'm trying to like not you know, tip off YouTube and stuff because they just blocking people left and right and this and that. But back to Sabrina. So at first I was like, oh my gosh, this season's not gonna be that good because I always feel like that. And then as I start getting to towards the last like five episodes, like I get freaking addicted. So season, I think it's season three. Season three of the Sabrina is freaking good. Okay, they got the voodoo lady and then like um her adult cousin. And there's like some apocalyptic stuff going on. Sorry guys, that was gone. <laughs> the lighting is probably different because my roomie's coming in and cooking some food. So I'm gonna have to cut this short. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and eat it later. So I got about halfway through and I got my kombucha and I'm good to go. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good weekend, wherever you are. Good morning, good night, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.